Good morning, everybody, and a special, special, special warm welcome to all those people who make it a point to be there a little before time. So thank you very much for that, because I love to begin on time. I love to end on time, you know, and uh, just to remind you, hey, listen, Rama, good morning. Rama, are you there? Not there. All right, good. Then I'm going to request Neeti. Neeti, why don't you tell, uh, just remind everybody uh, what makes us come here every morning? Good morning, sir. Good morning, everybody. Uh, and a very warm welcome to session 302. Uh, having crossed more than 300 days now, uh, it's a joy coming back to this forum every morning to uh, get over our, uh, or for me to get over my default mode and uh, keep up my um, energetic mode or the creative mode and uh, look for possibilities in life, look, look for opportunities to overcome all my obstacles and move ahead. So this is a forum from where I uh, get direction into my growth pattern on a daily basis. Thank you. Great, thank you very much. And to add just, you know, to remind you, we started off uh, these sessions with the point of view that, listen, there is a whole lot of negative influence of the world that we are suffering from, right? And as human beings, we get influenced by whatever we are being bombarded with, you know, propaganda or people telling us negative things or everybody being afraid of COVID and fear and apprehension and business thing or I and this and that and the other. So we said, hey, let's counter that, right? Because we are alive, we are here, we are fit and fine. And how do we make the most of what we already have instead of getting worried about what we've lost in terms of business or whatever, or worrying about what's going to happen tomorrow because today is there. And how do I give my 100% and how do I get my 100% from the life that I have? And what is life? Life is a set of experiences, one experience following another experience, following another experience. That's all life is, right? So if we want to live our life fully, then all that we have to do is to allow us to experience every moment of our life completely. Now you might have noticed that we don't do that because when more than 90% of the time we are spending in resisting what is happening, what we don't like, resisting the thought of losing what we do like and so on and so on and so on. So resisting and reacting to life is what we end up doing. And that's what is called as the auto mode. Now, reaction and resistance does not allow us to see wonderful possibilities that are there right before our eyes, right? And this resisting doesn't even allow us to experience every moment. So we keep seeking special experiences, which we want to go and experience on a holiday or in a meditation room or whatever. But hello guys, what about the rest of the day? 24 hours, some of which are lost in sleeping and our waking hours, if you're going to spend only in resisting and reacting, when are we going to actually experience this wonderful experience that life is? So the biggest thing that we can do is recover our ability to experience experiencing. So when we don't judge life, when we don't always keep classifying life into oh, this is good, I want more, this is not good, I don't want it and so on. How about experiencing every moment? And that's what I say that every experience is an opportunity. Every experience is an opportunity to become a better version of ourselves. So when we operate from this point of view, are we going to resist any experience? No. Because every experience is an opportunity to be a better version of myself. So I'll say, wow, thank you. I don't like it at the moment, but I know that you are here for a purpose. You are here to teach me something. So let me learn what you have to teach me. And if that is the attitude that we bring, 
And that's the attitude we would like to train ourselves to bring. That is the place we would like to put our attention to. Have you noticed that in life, our attention is always drawn to the things which are troubling us. Our attention is always drawn to things that we have to do. It is always drawn to all those things that we should do. Ye karna zururi hai. Nahi karoge to ho jayega. Ye ho jayega. And I agree that yes, those things are important. We have to do them. But at the same time, when are we going to put our attention on creating a life that we desire? Would I be right in saying, guys? Yeah. That we want a life that we desire. And some people have the luxury of having it. Some people get it and they lose it. And then they get it and they lose it. Right? So one of the things that I've realized in my 35 years of being in this field is you don't lose anything if you are accepting every experience and saying, wow, what a wonderful experience this is. And yesterday we were talking about points of view that when we operate in life out of everything is a very interesting point of view. It's all a very interesting point of view. So in, is there going to be any resistance in that? Is there going to be any reaction in that? Because we are relating with everything coming from a point of view that everything is just an interesting point of view. For the last few days, I've been giving you some very, very powerful tools uh, from Access Consciousness. <clears throat> I'm a certified facilitator from there, for those who don't know. And these tools, ladies and gentlemen, when you start using them, like one of the tools I'm using with you is some statements known as clearing statements. Now, these are not affirmations. These are statements to clear your brain of the clutter that you have that does not allow your life to come to you with ease, joy, and glory. So the purpose is all of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. Will you say with me this? I promise you if you say this statement 10 times, three times a day, your life is going to show up quite differently. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. So we've been looking at what judgment does to you. We've been looking at how judgment is the limitation and it doesn't allow us to have the greater awareness of what's possible in our life. Okay. We have been looking at asking the right questions. We have been looking at how the thoughts and feelings of and opinions of others are affecting us. So we had this tool of who does this belong to? And you may notice that most of it doesn't belong to you. And yesterday we were looking at when you look at life from everything is an interesting point of view, then what starts showing up in your life? Now, those who missed that session, you can always go to YouTube and uh, watch it. In fact, I would urge you as much as possible to go back to earlier sessions also and watch them. Neeti will tell you what the benefit is. Neeti, would you like to tell them what the benefit is very quickly? And then we'll move on to today's topic. So the benefit is at multi levels. Uh, one is uh, when something is bothering you, uh, energetically, you end up uh, watching the uh, session that has the answer for you. That has been my experience. Over and over again, I've experienced this. And second, um, during very hectic days, I make it a point to watch one of the earlier videos in the middle of the day because it just refreshes me for the rest of the day and then I can work up to 9, 10 o'clock. So that's what more can one ask for. Oh, oh, so that means that is an SOS dose, huh? The morning dose is not enough. <laughs> <laughs> So, half day, coffee pickup It's like a booster dose. Yeah, and why not? See, the thing is, it's available. And you can switch it on demand. Yes. Okay, so that's another gift that I have for you, that you go. There are right now 300 videos on YouTube. 
301 i have yet to put i'll put it today that's yesterday's video all right so let's get on with the topic for today the tool for today and the tool is called allowance so do you remember yesterday i told you that when you approach everything as this is an interesting point of view then you are in a state called allowance you are it now most of us you know what we think we think if i perceive it i have to do something about it that's why i am aware of it because i am supposed to do everything something about it so do you have to do something about everything that you are aware of no we are aware of a lot of things we are aware of a thousand things and you notice how we have this pull that oh i got to do something about it no you can choose what you want to do something about you are aware of many many things maybe not cognitively but you are aware of all those energies and if you can have it all as your awareness then you don't have to do anything about it okay try this uh, what i'm just going to tell you what is the difference between i am sad and i perceive sadness so now this is the time you enter the conversation with me that's a question some of you can respond to it what is the difference between i am sad and i am perceiving sadness yes sagar uh, so uh, when i say that uh... i am sad uh, that means literally i am sad there is no difference between sadness and me but uh, when i say that i am perceiving sadness means there is division between me and the sadness okay very good very nice answer thank you very much and what does it give you does it give you freedom or it gives you limitation obviously sir when i say i am sad i will be limited but when i say i perceive sadness uh, i will be unlimited uh, okay this. very good thank you very much for your um point of view on that so somebody else what's the difference between i am sad and i perceive sadness so i feel that when i say that i am sad i am totally identifying with sadness and when i say i feel uh, i feel sadness i am separate from the sadness absolutely this is like you know when you are observing a sad movie right yes. and you are saying okay i am perceiving somebody being sad yes. or you also start feeling sad with the movie yes. and you are sad yes In interesting isn't it sakshi yes. what's your take on this what's the difference between i am sad and i am perceiving sadness yes sir i agree with you that um, if i'm saying i am sad i am completely experiencing sadness and i perceive sadness means that oh i'm realizing that okay that sad feeling is engulfing me but it is in my control like you know yeah. how much to feel and whether to experience it to what degree yeah whether to swim in it or get out of it right you know it's like a realization kare ab ab main pani mein moon niklo ba right beautiful thank you very much anybody else rama abhinav rama is very quiet today is he there only or not i don't know rama are you there okay kunen ready garu anybody yes, i think very beautifully explained by all uh, in my my take is that uh, when i say i am sad means uh, i have i become uh, i put myself in the uh, default mode and uh, in the reaction mode resisting but when i say that i perceive sadness means i am aware that yes yeah. sadness is there and i have to i can manage that and i can deal with that yeah it is my perception so there are certain thoughts in the head and certain sensations in my body and i am saying i am sad or you can say that i am perceiving it as sadness yeah right thank you abhinav 
yeah, yeah, I agree with whatever people have shared. Uh, see, when you say I am sad, it's like it's like saying that I am dirty. And when you say perceived sad, it's like I'm wearing dirty clothes, so I can just change it anytime I feel like. Yeah, so you're shifting from a judgment called sadness to an awareness. Okay, okay, I'm perceiving sadness. Very nice. Thank you very much. Yeah, so like you said, when you say I'm sad, you take what you're aware of and it becomes yours. And you know what? 90% of the time, you don't actually have sadness. You just are aware of it. That's it. So you can let it go. You don't have to hold on to it. Think about it in this way. Have you seen that when sometimes uh, cars are going back, dogs will chase the cars? Have you seen that happening? Yes, yeah. sir. Many times dogs Gaadi just... ke kutte bhaagte, right? Yes. So I want you to look at it this way. Do you chase after every car you see driving by, thinking that it must be your car? Ahoy. Do you meddle with everything you over here on the street? That would be tiring, boring, and uh, not a contribution to anyone, right? You'll simply say that, all right, I'm picking it up and I'm aware of it. And you'll let it go. So I want to give you something which you will find very useful, okay? When something is happening, now what kind of things will happen? You will be usually classifying it. Now this is bad, should not be happening. Or you'll be saying, wow, this is good. Whatever is happening. So there are these great questions that you can ask, okay? So let's say something is happening. Some situation is going on and uh, you're getting worked up about it or something, whatever, or you're confused or you don't know what to do, whatever. So the question you will ask immediately, the first question is, what is this? And then you will get some awareness, okay? The next question you will ask is, what do I do with it? The third question you will ask is, can I change it? And if the answer is yes, if the answer is no, what will you do? Release it. Don't you waste your time with it? Or find out who can change it. And if you feel that you, if you get the awareness says, yes, I can change it. Then the last question is, what will it take to change it? That's it. And you are in action instead of just going on valuing in that feeling, right? What is this? What can I do with this? And can I change it? And what will it take to change it? Because what we are interested in is what? That every experience is an opportunity to become a better version of yourself. Or every situation is an opportunity to make that thing better. There is always a scope to see new possibilities and create breakthroughs, right? One more um, tool I would like to give you now is another question. And the question is, is my awareness exceeding my allowance right now? Now you understand what is allowance? Allowance is that when you see everything as an interesting point of view and you have no emotional charge on it, you have no judgment on it, that's called allowance, okay? So is my awareness exceeding my allowance? Means I have so much awareness, but I cannot be in allowance of that. So I start reacting to it. I start resisting it, okay? So is my awareness exceeding my allowance right now? If yes, if the answer is yes. Everything that doesn't allow my allowance to increase, please uncreate and destroy it all. You can say that statement like a clearing. Yeah, so the question to ask at any point of time when you're getting overwhelmed or whatever it is, you can ask, is my awareness exceeding my allowance right now? And if the answer is yes, then you will say everything that doesn't allow my allowance to increase, please uncreate and destroy it all. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pop, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. 
So let's do a few clearings. Everywhere you've not been willing to be in allowance of you, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pork, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So this statement, right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pork, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds, is a wonderful statement. It's like a magic formula. There's a lot of deep meaning in it. We don't have time to explain it now. I'll send you a link to a site where they will explain it to you or you can get in touch with me and I'll explain it to you, all right? So let's do the clearing once again. Everywhere you have not been willing to be in allowance of you. You know, we have a problem. We are not even in allowance of ourselves. Now, some people have become little enlightened, you know, so they'll say, I accept myself the way I am. Well, it's better than not accepting. But what if you are in allowance of who you are? So the clearing here is everywhere you've not been willing to be in allowance of you, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pop, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Everywhere you've not been willing to be in allowance of you, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pop, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Now, what have you made so vital about possessing total caring, total saving, and total belief in people that eliminates allowance as a factor of your reality. Everything that is times a godzillion, destroy and uncreated, please. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pop, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. What have you made so vital about possessing total caring, total saving, and total belief in people that eliminates allowance as a factor of your reality. Everything that is, times a godzillion, destroy and uncreate it all, please. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pop, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Now, this is a great tool when you start being an allowance in life, you're going to be quite amazed at the magical quality of your life. So we'll just repeat this clearing. I want us all to be in allowance everywhere. You've not been willing to be in allowance of you. Will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pop, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So how do you know that you're not in allowance of you? That's my question. And then we'll take it forward from there. How do you know that you are not in allowance of you? Yes, Sakshi. See, generally with me, uh, when I, I realize that no, I'm not in allowance because I dread that situation. I try to avoid that situation. I procrastinate or find out ways or excuses to avoid that. Beautiful. This is when you are not being allowance of some situation, right? My question is, how do you find out that you are not in allowance of you? Well, that's a big problem with people. They may be in allowance about many things, but they are not in allowance of themselves. So how would you know that you're not being in allowance of yourself? That's the question. Think. I think so literally one person will keep finding faults with oneself or criticizing oneself or um, feeling, guilty. Try, yeah, feeling guilty, trying to fix up something uh, which person consciously, unconsciously feels that that is not right about oneself. Right. Or thinking stuff like there's something wrong with me. Like I'm not okay. The other person is better than me, etc, etc. Beautiful. Very nicely put. Thank you so much. See, that's when you realize that you're not being an allowance of you. So this clearing is for that. Everywhere you have not been willing to be in allowance of will of you. Everywhere you've not been willing to be in allowance of you. Will you destroy and uncreate it all? 
right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pop, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Now tell me, when a person is not in allowance of themselves, what do they do in life? You know, like when you train yourself, you will find out with certain people's behavior that they are not in allowance of themselves. And a lot of their behavior is coming from the fact that they are not in allowance of themselves. So tell me, when you are not in allowance of yourself, what would you be doing? Yes, Neeti. So when uh, we are not in allowance of our, of our own selves, we tend not to um, make a choice. We kind of uh, let situations take us and we just hold on to that negative emotion that life is not what I wanted. I did not get a chance. We don't encourage ourselves to take a stand uh, to own up to our own selves that this is what I desire, this is what I would like to do. Okay. And when someone is not in allowance of themselves, what is the face they will show to the world? Dunia ko kya dikhate? I am okay. I don't have desires, and um, you know, I only do what people like and. Uh, yeah, I'm perfect. There's nothing wrong with me. So tell me, if you are not in allowance of yourself, can you be vulnerable or would you be putting up defenses all around you? A lot of defenses. Egoistic. You become egoistic. Well, I don't know about the egoistic. You definitely show a different face, right? You will show that I am sampan, there is nothing wrong with me. Yeah. Inside you feel that there are many things you need to so suppose I ask someone, why are you not in allowance of yourself? What answer do you think we'll get? Anybody who's not in allowance of themselves, if we ask them, why are you not in allowance of yourself? What answer do you think you'll get? Socho, Socho. I feel he would say that I'm fine. What's wrong with me? I, I'm, I'm all right. Would never come up and own up or accept it. Now, let us say that somebody is very close to you and they have accepted with you that, look, I'm not in allowance of myself. Correct? And somebody like me who's a friend of yours, he'll say, hello, so okay, why are you not in allowance of yourself? So what would you say? I mean, obviously, the answer will be different for different people. Um, they might say that uh, my past experiences are making me not in allowance with myself. Okay, so what is there in the past experience that is not making you? So, what are you saying to yourself that you're not being in allowance of yourself? Um, I'm saying that पहले भी तो ऐसे हुए हैं, अभी क्या नया होता है ना? हाँ, मगर क्या मेरे साथ बुरा ही होता है? That's why I can't be an allowance of myself. Uh, that is why you're not in allowance of yourself. Uh, may, uh, not, I'm not worthy of, you know, good things. Uh, so that could be one of the reasons. Hmm. Yeah, so it's different. And that's what we are trying to clear here, that wherever, everywhere. And please note, we are not willing to be in allowance of ourselves because we are so bloody critical and judgmental about ourselves. And a lot of people have this uh, false belief that if I don't do that, I will never improve. I'll become complacent. It's not so. When you're not in allowance of yourself, you will never improve. Lack of self-esteem. Everywhere you are not, you have not been willing to be in allowance of you. Will you destroy an uncreated all? Yes, right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pop, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Now, what have you made so vital about possessing total caring, total saving and total belief in people that eliminates allowance as a factor of your reality? Everything that is times a godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all, please? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pop, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So I want you to imagine 
that now you are being in allowance of yourself, allowances of all, in allowance of all the people around you. Okay, and then how would life show up? What will your life be like if you're being in allowance of yourself and allowances, allowance of situations and allowance of people around you? How would your life show up? Very good. Full of possibility ki achha, ye bhi ho sakta, ye bhi kar sakta. Kitni cheeze hum rok rahe hai karne sa. Kitni cheeze hum rok rahe hai kehne ke se, kehne ke. Have you noticed that? That resistance won't be there. Yeah. Now somebody, you know, these corporate people, they will always ask me, nay, sir, fir, hum, if I'm in allowance of someone, then I will never correct him. But you know what? When you're in allowance of someone, you're not being critical of the person without any charge, without any anger, without any irritation, without any judgment. You will gently tell that person, ke, look here, there is a right way to do this. Please do it like that. And you know what? That when your communication is not positional, when your communication is not judgmental, right? You will find that people accept what you say without any stress and they are open to doing it. But unfortunately, in our life, we made certain formulas. <laughs> One senior person told me, Sir, we have learned that 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 we have that we have that we have that we have been using, look, we've all been using the formulas, right? In life. Yes or no? So what are we using those formulas for? What is the purpose of our formulas and dramas and everything that we do? Kuch to purpose hai na? Wo pura ho hai? Not always. Hai na? And sometimes, you know, the sad thing is ki the formula that you use and you get some result out of it, the Consequences, yeah, side effects are not very palatable. Anna? So what are the side effects that we get in our life? What are the side effects we are getting? Anxiety, irritation, you know, I feel bad. Exactly. I could have done this in another way. So I I feel you know guilty ki yaar, shit. You know, jo cheez main hamesha resist kar rahi thi, ki, uh, my dad used to scold me for some or the other thing. I was like, pyar se bhi to bata sakte the. But now I do the same thing to the students. Ki yaar, tumne ye form nik submit kara, tum, malab, um, you're you know big enough to do that. Mere ko bar bar aake tumhe bolne ki zarurat nahi padni chahiye. So I'm just, you know, unko duplicate kar diya So this is what happens. Exactly. So what's the fallout? See, the point is yeah, we need to be very, very clear that whatever, see, if suppose you are, if you're supposed to do something and you don't do it, there will be a consequence of that. Correct? If you do something which you are not supposed to do, that will also have a consequence. Now, I want you to think about how many things we do in life because we are not in allowance of ourselves and we are not in allowance of other people also. Suppose you had been in allowance, okay? When I'm in allowance, if something may happen, even if I get irritated momentarily, I will drop it. I'll say, Are, there you go again. I'm experiencing, you know, I'm perceiving irritation right now. Chala gaya, finished. So we, our children have ordered a late order. They are getting worked up. Another hour late will be. Another hour will come. Right? 
सो आई एम थिंकिंग जब मैं ओला ऑर्डर करता हूँ लेट होती है तो मैं क्या करता हूँ तो इफ आई हैव वरी आई जस्ट सिंपली फोन अप एंड फाइंड आउट अच्छा भाई कहाँ पहुंचे हो राइट राधर देन अलाउिंग माई सेल्फ टू गेट वर्क अप आई गेट वर्क अप एन आर नॉट बींग इन अलाउेंस you have to start thinking that if you were to create your world where there is allowance of yourself allowance of the people around you allowance of every situation so question is how do i do that sir when i look at everything as an interesting point of view if a judgment is coming up you'll say wow that's an interesting point of view if somebody is judging you you'll say that's an interesting point of view and i've given you some questions also to ask got it do you want me to revise that for you ha huh? so whenever something is happening you can ask these four questions what is this what can i do with it can i change it what will it take to change it and when you're getting overwhelmed you will always ask is my awareness exceeding my allowance right now is my awareness exceeding my allowance right now and if yes then everything that doesn't allow my allowance to increase please uncreate and destroy it all so let's do the clearing one more time everywhere you have not been willing to be in allowance of you will you destroy and uncreate it please right and wrong good and bad pot and pock all nine shorts boys and beyonds what have you made so vital about possessing total caring total saving and total belief in people that eliminates allowance as a factor of your reality everything that is times of godzillion destroy and uncreate it all please right and wrong good and bad pot and pock all nine shorts boys and be on okay so now time I have five minutes to give you for questions or sharing or anything you'd like to say right now. What will it take for you to be in allowance? If you're not able to be in allowance, what is stopping you from doing that? First of all, allowance of yourself. So can you can you give another parallel word for allowance? Is it? Uh, yeah, let's hear it. No, I am not able to uh, let's say totally concentrate or accept the word allowance. Allowance is. Uh, What is stopping you? See, for you, allowance is it traveling allowance and <laughs> all that. You can have that allowance. That allowance is. Uh, is uh, another uh, that is the more monetary allowance that is a different one yeah, but, so we are not talking about that it, see when, it, we, it, when it, you it, and i in this forum use the word allowance basically it is to distinguish it from acceptance so the question to ask is what is the difference between allowance and acceptance yeah i suppose you could use surrender जो भी हो रहा है मैं सरेंडर इज साक्षी लिटिल इट्स लाइक गिविंग अप ओके पीपल टेक इट लाइक मैंने हार मान ली ओके आई एम सिंपली सेइंग दैट इट इज द वे इट इज हिंदी में कहते हैं ना तथास्तु जैसा है वैसा है ये ठीक है जैसा है जो हो रहा है वो ठीक है जो हो रहा है वो हो रहा है ठीक और गलत बीच में आ गया ना तो अलाउंस नहीं है वो एक्सेप्टेंस है थी जब एक्सेप्टेंस होती है वी हैव अ जजमेंट इन इट करेक्ट मुझे ये पसंद नहीं है मगर मैं एक्सेप्ट करता हूं ठीक है मैं कहता हूं ना गलत है ना सही है जो है इट्स एन इंटरेस्टिंग पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू दैट्स ऑल अराउंड इज लाइक परमिशन परमिसिबल कैन यू स्पीक लिटिल लाउडर अशोक जी आई कांट हियर यू allowance is something like permissible or permission or uh, yes i am allowing something to be the way it is 
you are right ne yes, neglecting to take neglecting to take action no just being in allowance doesn't mean you cannot take any action being in allowance means you don't have any judgment about it see you don't have any judgment about it you just have an awareness you say ki isme na koi bura hai na acha hai right ye jo char questions maine puche hain they help you to be in allowance yeah what is this nishpaksh you are not saying that i should change it because it is bad what is this what can i do with it can i change it what will it take to change it is it being objective about everything you can say that if you want to like i see a movie no opinion about it when you have no listen to me gopal ji Mm. when you have no judgment about anything okay mm. when you have no opinion about it it is the way it is it is the way it is right 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 a tree is a tree water is water air is air okay do you have a judgment about it some people have a judgment about that also so we don't have any we are not giving any meaning to it we are not saying it's right we are not saying it's wrong abhi ashok ji ka immediate response aaya ki phir main usko aise hi rehne do ha main rehne de sakta hu i'll come to you ready here see because it is not bothering me anymore i still have a choice do i want to change it if it is not bothering me then at least i can say na ke isse mujhe kuch mil raha hai kya remember ashok ji we say every experience is an opportunity yeah. to become a better version of ourselves yeah. so when i am in allowance of any situation then there is no judgment no emotional charge in it i can see ke okay is there anything that i have to learn from it let me learn it and if i feel like changing it i can change it and if i don't change it also it doesn't matter to me right so there is no i have to do this compulsion in it right if it is appropriate let's say we are running an organization okay and something is happening and you know that the result will not come because of your experience you know if they do the things like this result will not come now instead of getting worked up about it ya gussa hone se ya उनको कोसने से और एनीथिंग यू आर इन अलाउंस ओके ऐसा होता है लोग गलती करते हैं एंड यू से कि ऑल राइट व्हाई डोंट वी डू इट दिस वे देन यू विल नॉट फील द नीड टू गेट एंग्री एंड कैस्टिगेट एनीवन और गेट एंग्री योर सेल्फ और ऐसा क्यों हो रहा है ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए राइट देन यू विल बी मोर पीसफुल यू विल फाइंड दैट योर इंटेंट विल गेट कम्युनिकेटेड मोर इजिली बिकॉज वेन यू आर नॉट इन अलाउंस ऑफ समथिंग then there is some emotional charge over there or wo jo emotion hoti hai it gets communicated to the other person and that comes in the way otherwise the simple thing you know a simple you are telling someone boss don't do it like this do it like this koi problem hai usme but normally kya hota hai you tell him don't do it like this do it like that kyu sir main kya galat kar raha hu kya meri tarika aapko acha nahi lagta hai see when you have no judgment about it you are simply saying ki all right tum aise kar rahe ho koi nahi main keh raha hu aise kar lo aaj se zyada behtar hoga so you will never get worked up by that situation so you remember i asked you that when we are not in allowance what is the what what i say side effect of that we will make a big deal about everything बात इतनी होती है बतंगड़ इतना बना देते हैं बिकॉज वी आर नॉट इन अलाउेंस ऑफ समथिंग या सो यू स्टार्ट ऑब्जर्विंग व्हाट इज हैपनिंग व्हेन वी आर नॉट इन अलाउेंस ओके एंड व्हाट विल हैपन व्हेन वी स्टार्ट बीइंग इन अलाउेंस राइट एंड रिमेंबर वन थिंग थैंक यू अशोक जी फॉर रिमाइंडिंग अस वी शुड नॉट कंफ्यूज इट विद ट्रैवल अलाउेंस या डील देने वाला अलाउेंस हम लोग डील देना शुरू कर देंगे नहीं नहीं ऐसा बिग थिंग इन कॉर्पोरेट यू नो सर यू आर सेइंग बीइंग एन अलाउेंस सो दैट मींस हम सबको ढील देंगे लोग अपनी मनमर्जी करते रहे हम कुछ ना बोले उनको इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली टू दैट वर्ल्ड 
angry with you, you say, hum deal de denge kya? That is that, that is the one which is. नहीं नहीं इनफैक्ट आप डील लेप दोगे आप और ज्यादा कड़क हो जाओगे उनको कड़की भी नहीं समझ में आएगी बिकॉज यू आर नॉट हैविंग एनी इमोशनल चार्ज ऑन इट यू नो चार्ज तो जो नॉर्मली जो होता है फोर्स होता है कंपल्शन होता है फियर फैक्टर होता है नन ऑफ दीज नॉन सेंस थिंग्स आर रिक्वायर्ड हाउ मच मोर स्मूथली एंड ओपनली पीपल विल बी देयर विद यू यू नो नाउ आपको अशोक जी यू हैव स्पेंड वॉट फिफ्टी ईयर्स in very 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 senior most position in your companies like you tell me what will you give so that you have an atmosphere of openness and trust in the organizations which you have been running agar un organizations mein openness and trust hota to kitna acha hota batai aur kitna mushkil hota hai to get openness from people that they are willing to tell the truth to the seniors uh, i might i might digress a little i might digress a little so you do uh, that I, you first answer my question I, what would it be like yes uh, answering answering that question okay thoda uncha boliye please your voice is very soft kya go ahead uh, now now is it is it loud enough is it loud enough now slightly better you come closer to the mic kp i'll come to you after this hello is yeah. it okay now better go ahead thank you exactly the situation which you are told to avoid that to in the morning we i have been getting personally involved with employee asking about where with all of the family children and so many things so the relationship is not that much of a contracted employee and employer so they are free and that's why the allowance or other things have not come into picture because they come and tell ki sir main aaj 15 minute लेट से आता हूँ या मैं कैन आई गो देयर फर्स्ट एंड कम बिकॉज आई टू पे द इलेक्ट्रिक बिल सो आई विल गो टू द कस्टमर फर्स्ट पे द इलेक्ट्रिक बिल पे द कस्टमर मीट दैट कस्टमर एंड देन कम टू ऑफिस कैन आई डू दैट दे हैव बीन फ्रैंक एंड वेन दे हैव बीन फ्रैंक द अदर टूल विच यू टोल रिक्वायर्ड टू बी यूज सो मच नो आई से दैट बिकॉज यू आर एन अलाउंस अशोक जी दैट इज वाई दीज पीपल कैन बी ओपन एंड फ्रैंक विद यू Otherwise, they'll never be open and frank with you. उनको पता है कि ये हमारी पैंट नहीं उतारेंगे necessarily. बात को बताने के लिए बनाएंगे. Correct. Yeah. No, nobody was, nobody was held on the rule. कि ऐसा होगा तो ये होगा and that to go to that personal man and man and then talk to him and etc. etc. Okay. And these people, if you ask them to do some extra or to do some late <laughs> thing and all, they'll not be. And, you know, complaining about it, they'll be happy to do it. Yeah, yeah, sure. They, they, they themselves would, uh, would come and tell that, sir, oh, my hand is wrong. I will come tomorrow and finish it. But uh, no question of overtime or under time or this or that. Nothing. Exactly, exactly. Great. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much. I, yes, KP. I will add. Yes, yeah, I will add just one sentence. Yes. I will add just one sentence. My wife was also with me in the business, and she used to say. कि देखिए आपकी फैमिली भी आपकी सैलरी पे चलती है मेरी फैमिली भी यही उत्पन्न पे चलती है सो एज फर एज वी आर कंसर्न वी आर ऑल सेम एज फर एज दिस वर्क इज कंसर्न सो इट इज इट इज समथिंग बाय व्हिच ओनली आई एम एट द टॉप डजंट मीन दैट यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू बी टॉप एट द मोमेंट बट दिस ऑल ओवर फैमिली रन ऑन द इनकम फ्रॉम दिस अवे विच with you when you are no more so everybody was being called by their first name great thank so you thank you 
so much for that. Uh, KP, you are you, and then after that, we will have Pune. Thank you, sir. Good morning. Good morning, Thank everybody. You. I wanted to share uh, one example of the allowance. Sir. See, usually I'm a kind of person. If I know somebody has to do something in the, in the office environment I'm talking about, if they don't do, I immediately send a mail, no, making sure that to tell them that you are not doing your job. Sometimes when it is peers, they will, there will be some, no, oh, what should I say, some, some environment of hostility because they are peers. No? Uh, they don't like me to you know, point out that, okay, their mistake or whatever. Either they don't do it or no, they want to escape from that. But now in the in the new organization, no, from last two months, actually I'm trying to be in allowance after you know, consciously. I'm seeing if, if somebody doesn't do their job, I'm just keeping quiet. Okay, I'm giving some more time. That's what I'm realizing you know, when I when I heard this conversation now. However, having said this, I'm again I'm in doubt myself. Yeah, you better be. See, if somebody is not doing his job. <laughs> allowance by not getting upset about it. Okay. And having a desire to insult or to demean that person. But at the same time, you may gently offline. See, when you make it official mail, it's a way right. of, uh, you know, I'm bringing to your notice, you know. Right. You may otherwise tell him on phone or something, you listen, man, your thing is getting delayed. Why don't you do it? Exactly, sir. I'm doing it offline. Couple of instances, I call that person. I'm doing it, but at the same time, what my, my question is in that email, for example, there are some five, six people. They don't know that I'm talking to this person offline. Don't they take me far? No? They, 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 don't they take me light? Okay, even if no, one email is sent, even if this person is supposed to do, he didn't do, but KP is keeping silent. Won't that impression be formed that way, sir? Hello. When the work is getting done, they'll know about it, no? Okay. Eventually, you are saying the result can. What are the people going to look at? Is the job getting done or not? Right, right. Okay, because they are not going to measure you by anything except whether the job is getting done or not. Right, right. So maybe it's only my ego. <laughs> yeah. See, you and I know one uh, episode in one company which you had. Right. Not being in allowance. So right. Exactly. If you had handled it by being in allowance. That situation required to be handled. Right, right. Yeah. So you had to handle it. That was your job. Okay? Right. But you handled it, but you were not in allowance. You had a lot of judgments about those people and everything. Correct? Right, sir. Yeah. Suppose you did not have that and you were being in allowance to the situation itself and to those people, maybe you would have handled it differently. No? Right. Yes. Now, if you look back, you'll see. So many similar situations will come. Then you'll see that, you know, that's why I say when whatever we do, there is some kind of a backlash or the other. So when we are not in allowance and we are doing actions, there is a backlash which you may not like. But when you are in allowance, because there is no emotional charge in it, see, just now you said, no, if I don't put in a mail, people will think that I'm not... Now, that is where you are not being an allowance of yourself. Okay. There is a judgment, na? If right. I do it that way, what will people say? That is judgment. You are not being an allowance in that situation. Yeah, yeah. If you are an allowance, your rational brain will say, hey, listen, the job is getting done on time. That is what people will be looking at. Right? If the job is getting delayed, you can send a general mail saying, hey, look here, you know, things are getting delayed. So if there is anything pending at your end, please complete it. And then offline, you can tell that guy, yeah, hello, I don't want to say in public, but yeah, do it. He yeah. will appreciate that. But that kind of a call you will take when there is no emotional charge in it. Right. Yes, sir. Yeah. You know, there's no I am right and they are wrong in it. Great. Thank right. you for asking. Yeah. Thank you. A lot of clarity, a lot of people. Thank you so much. Yes, Kunain, sir. Shairi ka time aage hai kya? No, uh, other than Shairi, uh, which... Uh, Reddy Garu next. Sorry, Reddy Garu. Uh, normally, or less Reddy Garu share. Reddy Garu, go ahead. Yeah, he had asked first, I forgot. Then you can say, yeah, Reddy Garu, go ahead. Thank you, Kune. 
Sir, uh, I've been practicing elements in my office for the last couple of months, and I'm seeing good results, sir. That's what I want to share with you. Okay, good. So what is the good result that you have seen? And by the way, for those who don't know it, Mr. Reddy runs a big industry in uh, Hyderabad, not a small industry, but a big one. Yes. Uh, sir, earlier, uh, when I meet people in the office, I used to uh, make some uh, instructions or judgments on them uh, among uh, all the people. Now, if at all I want to convey the message, I'm calling them into my room and tell them that it can be done like this. So uh, they're happy. They're also trying to uh, uh, manage good. And I'm seeing uh, some results, sir. That's what I want to share with you. Have you seen one thing interesting, Reddy Garu? Just check. Have you seen that people may be taking more initiative and doing things without being reminded? Yes, sir. Is yes, that sir. also is happening, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So people are getting empowered because you are being in allowance of them. Yes. Yes, Kunen. And after that, Sakshi ji. Let Sakshi ji go ahead, sir. Right. You want to have the last word, Koini. Sakshi ji, you go. Um, I want to share over here that I've been practicing allowance with my daughter. So initially, I used to not. I used to be like a dictator parent or sort of like, you know, that you have to do it. And uh, uh, since a very long time, like one and a half year or two years, I've realized that if I am writing books on parenting, how can my parenting be uh, like this? So, like, you know, I completely changed my approach. So now I treat her as an individual, not as a child. I take a viewpoint. I ask her when will be comfortable time with you to talk. And then accordingly, I sit with her and we discuss everything. We sort out everything. And I don't suggest. I bring out the answers from her. Okay. And then I take confirmation. Are you comfortable with uh, abiding or confirming or, you know, agreeing to this? And this way, the whole approach, whole scenario has changed. So now her performance is much more better. Our relationship is better. She can open up to me. And uh, I mean, people will not believe that even if she is going out somewhere, she will give me minutest detail with numbers and all, whereas her friends, parents would not be aware also where their child is. So I'm very happy that this thing has worked out with me. Thank you. Great. Very Thank good. you so much. Very good. <laughs> yes, Kunen, finally. Yes, uh, great uh, points from Sakshi Ji, which is, uh, I was reflecting upon, uh, maybe what it differently is uh, unconditional love. So, and what happens, sir, I have noticed uh, when we say about the accepting others, either I... Being an allowance is yeah. better than acceptance. Okay. So, either I uh, make judgment by the look of the people or the language or the behavior or the dress, appearance, and then uh, something comes in between to be in the allowance. So, if I have uh, unconditional love of uh, for others with the compassion, like he is like me, the other human being. So when I create that compassion and uh, don't let the judgment, then the allowance will come. And I it's my habit of uh, remembering certain things with associating uh, a word. And allowance is appropriate word here. Why? though we do use in the corporate world but i am using this allowance as a journey of my life and i would like to say one couplet uh, for ashok ji it says that uh, hayat leke chalo kainat leke chalo hayat is life kainat is universe so hayat leke chalo kainat leke chalo chalo to sare zamane ko saath leke chalo so we are in the journey of life and allowance means something we have to take everything together, everyone together, every like uh, life, universe, everyone. So we are one. So we are moving in a destination. It's a journey. It's allow be in an allowance. So, so that way I'm there taking is a shortcut and there is a long cut. Okay. 
you will find it easier to love everybody when you are in allowance of everybody see what you are saying is vice versa if i love everybody then naturally i'll be in allowance of them okay but how about simply living your life as hey this is an interesting point of view this fellow is not wearing who oh, is wearing this dress that's my point of view he is not behaving the way i expect that's my point of view and when i am in allowance of everybody then i can be in love with anyone no? after all remember the five elements of intimate relationship love is not one of them but you are talking about the love which is at you know level say 450 of consciousness that pure divine love and it is easier to reach there my friend when we start being in allowance to everybody ye love ki problem pata hai kya hai most people don't hear this love as that being 450 on the you know consciousness scale i getting it but i get exactly what you're saying if i can allow myself to generate love for everybody then it's easier for me to be in allowance ke jaisa hai theek hai main kutte se bhi pyar karta hu sher se bhi pyar karta hu machhar se jo kaatta hai machhar se pyar karte ho nahi karte na jab wo kaatta hai aur kujli hoti but i can be in allowance of that right thank you thank you that was a wonderful poem and uh, we are going to end in exactly one minute because i want to ask kuldeep ji to say the shair and close for today kuldeep ji sir ek shair hai har paristhiti mein ummeed ka daman tham rahe hain har paristhiti mein ummeed ka daman thame rahe hain yug yugantar se jeevan ka yahi vidhan hai युग युगांतर से जीवन का यही विधान है और okay? जिंदगी ही समस्या है और जिंदगी ही निजान है पार्टिसिपेशन टूडे एंड एवरी डे एंड टेक बैक विथ यू वट एवर यू विल but make sure that you bring it into your life guys so all you wonderful magnificent extraordinary human beings have a wonderful day have a kind day have a compassionate day have a loving day and finally at the end of the session i am able to see rama hello rama where are you yeah. yes sir good morning sorry I for i was wanting you to speak but you were not there i know i know i i was away from the system so sorry So, anything you'd like to say before we say bye bye to everybody? So, Dave, I am in uh, allowance with myself for not speaking and not uh, showing up. Thank you, sir. <laughs> okay, bye everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye everybody.